Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a New Year's inspired look or just a look you could wear to any party or special event or clubbing or wherever you felt comfortable wearing it. If you notice my eyes are a little bit red, I'm sorry, I've just got like hay fever and my eyes are super dry and just bleh. Some of you have been noticing it lately but I can't do much about it. I've got eye drops but they do nothing. I should get those whitening ones but they kind of scare me. Okay, so I'm just going to get started. I already have what I want to do. Ugh. In my mind I kind of want to do like a bombshell kind of look. So first of all I'm going to take my foundation and today I'm going to use my Vitalumia Aqua. This is in the shade 30 Beige. I'm using it on my Exo Beauty Round Top Brush. I was going to use a base but I don't know. I just don't feel like putting one on. I don't know why. Sometimes I just don't wear a base. If you want to use a primer go ahead and use it though. Especially for New Year's. On New Year's Day I probably will wear one just because I want my makeup to last longer. But for today it's fine. I'm just going to do like two layers of this just so that it's kind of like a light to medium coverage. Because at the moment it's just a very light coverage. Now I'm going to go in with my Prep and Prime, the Peach Luster. And then my Round Top Eyeshadow Blender Brush or eye blender brush from EXO Beauty and I'm just going to blend this wherever my dark eye circles are because the orange helps to counteract dark bluey purple colours looks really weird at the moment but and the concealer as always my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer obviously a huge favourite of mine because I use it like every day And then lately I've been loving this. This is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. And I've just noticed it's really, really good. It's really fine and it doesn't look cakey or anything under my eyes. So it's kind of like a really good alternative to Well Rested, except it's clear, like it's translucent, so you can't see any color. And I'm just using that on my Small Tapered Face Brush by XO Beauty. This is one of my new ones. Um, and you can use these like... To contour you can use it on your highlight area um, your nose powdering all over especially if you've got a smaller face or if you're only I mean it's gonna say only contouring only powdering your t-zone like just over your forehead down your nose and around here and then of course powder your face and I'm just using my cover effects and my exo beauty kabuki brush my face looks so pale compared to my chest and I don't know why I think it's just my lighting because in real life it kind of matches. <laughs> we'll have to put on bronzer. For now I'm just going to add some Dewy Mist Spray. I love this stuff, especially in summer. Like It is really hot in my filming room, but obviously don't want to open windows, don't want to put a fan in here because otherwise you'll be able to hear it and it'll be really distracting. So I just... It's so good. And it makes your makeup stay on longer and it sets your makeup and makes it look not cakey and stuff. It's amazing. I'm going to use my Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark as a bronzer um, just to warm up my complexion. <laughs> I said that really weird. <laughs> on my bronzer brush. I just love putting my bronzer kind of sort of on my cheekbone, on the backs of my face. And that just looks really good because it looks really natural and like you're just being sun kissed, sun tanned from the sun. And then around the outside of the forehead and then I just kind of put whatever's left on my brush. Um, just around my chin and forehead. And then I'm going to use my Tarte Park F Princess Bronzer as my contour. So this is again my small tapered. I just like to contour my cheeks and the sides of my face. I don't have like a big forehead but I just think it looks more put together when I have a little bit of colour just here. It just suits me. This bronzer is a little bit shimmery. You can use something matte if you want but I just like to use this sometimes. Don't ask why. It doesn't look too obnoxiously um, shimmery in the contour either. So it does work but if you don't want to use something shimmery then don't. I'm just warning you in case someone goes out and buys it and then it's like oh my god it's got shimmer. Yeah it does. <laughs> 
And then I just take my bronzer brush and just buff that out. Make sure everything's nice and seamless. So if you can see little bumps on my face, I don't know if you can, that's from my Clarisonic because I recently started using it again. I kind of took a couple months off um, and yeah, I started using it again so some of the dirt is coming up out of my skin at the moment. So I've just got to deal with these for a couple weeks again which sucks but the Clarisonic just makes my skin amazing so it'll be worth it. My body looks really red. I wonder if I'm sunburned. I took Zeus for a walk this morning but I've only just noticed my chest. I'm so silly. You guys should definitely not follow my example. You should definitely wear sunscreen out. I don't know why I didn't. It was really hot. Just a silly dumb moment again. Okay, so on my lid, I am going to take a silver base today. I've never used this one. I was going to use my MAC one, but I thought I'd go for the more affordable for you guys. Because um, I've got a MAC silver one that I've never used either. Because I don't often do silver looks. Um, but this one is the 24 hour silver strike. And it's a light silver. This one here would also work. Their asphalt one. It's just a darker silver, but you could still make it work. This is a angled eyeshadow brush. And I'm just using this to apply the base. And I'm not worrying too much about the very outer corner because I'm going to have a dark colour there. But I'm going to put this all over the rest of the lid. For this look, I am going to be using the Smashbox Masterclass Palette 2. And you can definitely use whatever you have because a lot of you will have these colours already. It's just silver and black. So, first off, I'm going in with this highlight shade, Woo, that one, and then I'm taking the lighter silver, which is just here. So, this is the highlight shade. I'm just going to apply this under my brow bone first. Actually, just before we go in with that silver, I'm just taking a brown that's slightly darker than my skin tone. So, I'm going in with the one down the bottom, and this is a eyeshadow blender brush, and I'm just going to work that into the crease, and this is just going to make... All of the other colors that we put on top easier to blend since it's on a powder and it's also just going to warm up the look a little bit because it's a slightly warm brown um, so it's not going to look too frosty or anything okay so taking that light silver color and just patting that all over the lid don't worry about it too much because we will have to clean it up later most likely because we're going to be blending a lot so it might fade but now you're just going to take the plain matte black I'm using it on a tapered blender brush, so a little tiny blender brush like this is perfect. And then you literally want to like, dip it in once, because you don't want too much product, otherwise it's going to be really hard to blend out. So I just dipped that in once, and then I'm just going to start putting that onto my outer kind of corner. And then when you need to, go in with a little bit more and repeat over that same area. And you just want to keep doing this until you build up the color that you want. Don't feel tempted to just rub your brush in there because you'll never blend it out. You just want to go one dab, one dip at a time. And I'm making mine into kind of like a cat eye shape, but not too intense. And then once you're happy with that kind of shape and intensity, you can go on to the next eye. And then once you've done both, you can kind of like play around and make sure that they're both as intense as you want. Um, and make sure that they're both even-ish. <laughs> now, you don't have to do this step, but I am going to be using some glitter. Just because I found this in my drawer and I was like, I need to use it. This is the Body Sparkles number 59 by Inglot. I'm not sure if this is eye safe, so check before you buy it. But I'm going to put it on my eyes and hope for the best. Don't follow my example. Do as I say, not as I do, as my parents tell me. It is amazing. It's holographic and super fine. I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, but it's got like orange, green, blue, yellow, gold, silver, like all of it in there. I'm just going to use my LA Splash Splash Ploop. Splash Ploof? Splash Proof. Um, what is this called? Eyeshadow Cellar Base. And this just works really well for glitter, blur. I can't talk. Okay. I'm going to put this just before the outer V. So you can put it wherever you want, really. So you can see where I'm putting mine.
actually I'm going to bring that closer out to the outer V so it kind of makes a cut crease effect because you can see it's really starting to do that but it needs to go out a bit more. So that's what it looks like. I love it. I wasn't planning on doing that at all but, but I wanted to so there. I feel like I probably shouldn't do too much underneath otherwise it'll end up looking I don't know a bit crazy maybe I don't know you know the funny thing is I've got to go out after this so people are gonna be looking at me a bit funny but oh well I'm gonna use this kind of color here it's kind of like a bluish gun sh gun metal I was gonna say gunshot color and yeah you can just use like a gun metal color or like a black if you want to use black again to make it real dramatic or you could use um, like dark brown to make it a little bit more easy to wear actually I'm gonna do dark brown change my mind Now I'm going to apply some eyeliner. This one here is the Hyperglossy, the one I always use. And I'm just going to do a little wing, nothing too dramatic because my other one was really, really dramatic. Actually, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not even going to do a wing. It's a little bit tricky to get a perfect line since it's on top of glitter, but I'm just going to do my best. And then my lashes, I'm so excited to show you. I'm using these ones here by EXO Beauty, which is my brand. These are the Romantic Lashes. It has a little sticker just there. And they are super flirty, like flared out, romantic looking lashes. These ones will look perfect with this look because they're not too intense. You want to just trim the edges and of course I'm going to put on mascara first. And that is the finished look there. The eyelash glue is still kind of drying, so please excuse that. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. This is a little bit advanced since it's still a tiny bit away, but I hope you guys do have a really good New Year's on New Year's. Whatever you're doing, make sure you're safe and drink responsibly if you're drinking. And anyway, I will talk to you again really soon. Bye. Favorite lip balm, the Haror. And then I'm going to bronze up my skin using a mineralized skin finish with this bronzer brush. So soft. That's my so soft face. <laughs>